absolutely adore Melbourne. The culture, the buildings, the artwork. It wasn't done because, you know, we need to build a highway or we need to build a building. It was done as a piece of artwork. And for me, I can really appreciate that. Definitely love the feel here. It's uh, different. You have the older style buildings mixed with the new structures and it creates just a, a real good feel. I think I could move here right now. <laughs> I wanted to expand my portfolio, and I heard of a gentleman named Guy Grossi, and he's a really well-known chef in the area and throughout the entire country, and I thought he'd be a great character to shoot. So I'm just kind of thinking like something, so this is a little bit of a prop, you can lean on you it. You want me you just have, to lean on the chair? You, you okay. can be just right about here, like, you know. I'm quite quick to You're the man. <laughs> and a little bit that way. So how long have you had this building for? 11 years. Wow. And was it like this when you came? It's changed. We've done things, but it's been Florentino since 1928. Really? Yep. If only these walls could talk. Oh, I bet. There's a lot of product. Yeah, yeah, holding it yeah. Together. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I use extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Coming back to me. A little bit more. Right about there. Sultry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sultry. How are you doing? <laughs> You realize that no matter how hard I try, I'm never going to look like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now close your eyes. Imagine you are... Say something exciting. This is my Gregorius look. I take this to all the parties I go to. No me basta tormento que da esta tierra te Life is a stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I busted a testicle. <laughs> a man that can sing and can cook. Uh, you still haven't seen me cook. <laughs> Shall we go and cook? Let's go. If I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I would spend four of them sharpening the axe. It's like you've done that before. Yeah, a few times. So if you had to say what Australia tastes like, what would it be? Australian food um, is a very eclectic kind of cuisine. When I think of the best Australian dish you could probably get that's the most common all around the place, I can't think of anything better than spaghetti bolognese, <laughs> even though it's very Italian. But people embrace it. It's a really food-driven city. The food and wine culture here is fantastic. People just love it. They live it, they eat it, they breathe it. Very lucky to have really good international clientele and national clientele. And hopefully, if we do a good enough job, they go out into the world and spread the word. And that's what it's all about. That's what we do. We have a philosophy here. We like to take our client, bring them off the street, wrap them in cotton wool, and give them an experience that they'll never forget. And they're our responsibility until we release them back onto the streets of Melbourne again. I love it. Well, now here's our beautiful canina beef. Now look at oh, that. Oh, look at that chunk of meat. And it is a chunk of meat, isn't it? What is it that drives your passion and allows for so much success and excellence in your work? We're serious about what we do. And um, when I wake up in the morning, I just want to get on with it and try and improve myself and improve the business. And just uh, that's what we're all about. We just continue on a, on a drive to improve. And that fuels our passion because if we discover something a little bit different or we can do something a little bit better, then we get excited about that. And we also get the chance because of our structure here, the upstairs restaurant, and the um, cellar bar downstairs and the grill. We're so lucky as chefs, we get a chance to cook very rustic, earthy, traditional food. And we get to also to play with beautiful ingredients like black truffles. They're from Piemonte, they're north of Italy. We're looking at probably six or 7,000 Australian dollars right there in this little bowl of rice. So really? Don't drop them. Guys, has it been a pleasure having Suzanne in our kitchen? Yes, Giorno, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I heard Paintings. Guy's quite a character. Yeah, he's quite a character. <laughs> I love it. And then he started singing to me. <laughs> and we need to do things like this for you. I mean, this just shows you more and more how we need to control your image. Well, this is in the paper today. Oh, wow. See, look at that photo. You got to replace that photo. Your front page? Front page. I think overall it's a very high quality region. That's what characterizes it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.